Hey, this is Andreas from PocketRules.com and today I want to show you what has to be one of the weirdest accessories I have ever used. Uh, this device right here actually came out, I think, last year, uh, beginning of last year even, but uh, I personally wasn't aware of it until I saw it uh, on sale last week. And it was actually 80% off, so I went ahead and bought it after reading some uh, uh, quick and fairly negative reviews just because I wanted to try it out for myself and see how something like this could work. So, as for what this is, this is a Samsung Optical Smart Hub um, model designation SE-208BW. It's essentially a mix between a wireless router, a portable DVD burner, and a network uh, attached storage uh, device. So you have a DVD drive, um, which is basically most of this. Um, you have a USB port on the back, which I have a device, pl a drive plugged into. Uh, you have a USB port that isn't able to power it, it's only there for connecting to a computer. Uh, I believe to use it as a uh, just a normal um, USB uh, DVD drive. You have an Ethernet port to, for connecting to uh, an existing internet connection. And then you have the power supply, which is a uh, included fairly large power supply. So. What this does is that it actually allows all sorts of devices to access uh, both the USB drive and the DVD drive wirelessly. For instance, uh, an iOS device or an Android device. So I thought I would just show you some of the more unique features of this because uh, it does. Uh, we don't lack um, portable routers or um, portable USB network drives uh, on the market. There are plenty of those, but uh, I can't exactly say I've seen many portable wireless DVD drives before, which is what really makes this uh, unique. There might be some other ones as well, but I haven't seen them. So um, to start off with showing you some of the functionality, I actually had to go out and buy a DVD. This is the cheapest one I could find. Because, uh, I mean, who has DVDs anymore? Mine are in storage hours away from here, so I had to go and grab one. And uh, it's basically your standard uh, portable DVD drive, just from the looks and operation. You can even get the disc out without breaking it. And the way you access this from an iPad is that you use an app called Smart Hub, which is made specifically for this. Uh, it's quite a pain in the butt to actually set this up when you first get it. You need to update the firmware and uh, configure the access point and everything. Uh, but once you have done that, uh, oh, actually I forgot I need to switch to the built-in wireless uh, access point generated by this device. So because this is essentially a wireless disk, I renamed it Frisbee. Just because my humor is very peculiar. Then it should be able to connect. So now it's essentially connected via Wi-Fi to the drive. But uh, you can actually connect uh, an Ethernet port and perhaps even uh, bridge the Wi-Fi connection so you still have an internet connection. But uh, I have had quite a bit of trouble with uh, things like you can see now it wasn't able to connect even though the um, it was uh, connected and suddenly it worked. So it's definitely not without its flaws and even though it's gotten better since the reviews I read which are quite old by now it's still not perfect going to go into the DVD player that will actually allow me to uh, stream the DVD wirelessly from the smart hub just gonna 
turn down the volume so I don't trigger any YouTube copyright thingies. I can just hit resume. Wait for it to buffer. And this is actually a commercial DVD, so uh, it has menus and subtitles and language selection and all sorts of things. You can actually go into the menu just to show you how that works. So you can actually go like this to sort of have a virtual uh, D-pad. And uh, I actually have several hundred DVDs in storage somewhere and uh, my laptop doesn't have a DVD drive anymore and my cell phone certainly doesn't have one. Neither does the iPad so uh, something like this could actually be useful for bringing some of that back to life without having to rip it. Especially if you, if you have kids, um, you might have a lot of kids DVDs and things like that. So you can see that it actually works and the quality is actually fairly good. Uh, of course DVD isn't HD but uh, still very good quality. You can actually also go in here and see information about the, the disc and stuff like that. So um, let's see if I can even go back. Um, I think it's it's not the most intuitive of apps as far as navigation goes. It crashes, fails to connect, uh, it can only star in portrait mode and it can only play DVDs in landscape mode and it's sort of random. Um, so that's one of the features. Uh, another is that you can actually use this file manager to access the files on either the local device, uh, the disk, or the USB. So this is just uh, a USB disk I used for another video not long ago, so I still have the same files, just some random documents. Um, and you can actually access the documents straight from the device, but the file manager that's built into this app is actually uh, fairly useless because I haven't found any way to import documents without um, having a jailbroken device where I can actually just insert files straight into the apps folder. Um, and the help pages weren't very much used because they only suggested alternative software for Android. But uh, I was able to find one that actually works with iOS called File Explorer. Um, I just uh, searched for a device while connected and uh, just going to enter the password. Um, and then you can actually see I can access the device this way using a third party app. And this is a full file browser. So uh, this app is actually able to also play uh, things like, uh, I've actually played Windows Media video um, uh, using this app, which is which the built-in video player in the Smart Hub app is not capable of doing. So I can access the same files, and I can also um, make sure if that's the upload button or whatever. But uh, I can also move files uh, onto here from, uh, for instance, local. I can copy it. Upload, I guess, is the right term. Okay, what's my password again? Um, I have to say I haven't played around too much with this app, just making sure that it worked, because since my device is jailbroken, I can do this much more easily um, that way. But for instance, let's just uh, upload this. So it was quite a s small file, so it didn't take long. And then I guess if I, there's some way to refresh this, 
and see that the file actually appeared here. So the reason why that's useful is because being able to move files to a USB drive is the best way to use the device's uh, disk burning functionality. So I can actually show you how that worked. works. Um, I also bought a spindle of uh, some empty disks just to try that functionality out. This is basically so ancient technology that uh, I had to go up and buy some. At least for me it is ancient. I don't think I've used a DVD burner in years. But uh, once I insert a blank disk, I can go to the smart backup feature, um, select, I could sec select my device, but apparently there's some sort of uh, 50 megabyte limit or something. So they actually uh, recommend that you use a USB as a sort of buffer. So um, you would actually insert a, DVD, uh, a USB drive and then uh, fill that with whatever files you want to burn. Um, so you just add everything that's on there basically, click add, next select disk as the target device, so uh, I'm fairly sure this is only capable of doing uh, data disks so you couldn't burn a, uh, a audio CD for instance. But I mean, just being able to actually read and write to a CD or DVD from an iPad is something that you don't see every day. So you can only see it's only 6.4 megabytes, so it didn't take long. And it will just auto eject when it's done. There you go. So that's a DVD. I don't know if you can see if it's burned or not. Um, I have actually done this before, so I tried it on a computer and it actually works. So this is a DVD burned from an iPad. I think that's quite something. So like I said, I bought this on sale. It was down quite a lot from, I think, 120 to 26 British pounds. Um, I, I basically just bought it because I was curious and also uh, if it worked, which is which it did, um, it means that I now have the ability to access and write to disks from my iPad. And while that's not something I actually expect to do a whole lot, it's always nice to have uh, devices like this laying around. I have a normal USB uh, DVD drive as well, which I use a uh, now and then. Uh, I think that as the years go by we're going to see even less of these out there. Uh, and it's just nice to see that you can actually have a mobile device uh, that can read and write to disks because we we're always talking about an iPad's ability to replace a computer and uh, between being able to connect USB drives and external hard drives and whatnot, um, this is just another sort of thing in the same area. And also, of course, just the uh, network attached storage uh, feature in itself is quite useful because uh, I'm not sure if this port is able to power an external hard drive uh, on its own. I actually haven't tried that, but uh, since it's powered, uh, it might actually be. And then you actually have the ability to use this as, um, um, yeah, you get my point, uh, to access your USB drives as well if you're not jailbroken. So yeah, that's just a quick look at what this does. Um, so I'm going to put this video in with a written article on pocketables.com. And for that, I'll also check if this actually works with a, an external hard drive and put that in the article. So thank you for watching and hope you have enjoyed this look at uh, what's perhaps one of the most peculiar accessories I've ever seen. So thank you for watching.